guys, I asked this question to Connor and Brian when they're here. Your first, do you remember your first meeting, your first impression of Mike Sullivan, and uh, what you thought at that time, and, and what you thought you were getting, I guess, at that time? If you both could answer, would be great. Um, our first meeting, he came in. Uh, I mean, I think the first thing you notice is he has a, a very authoritative voice, uh, very uh, deep, and uh, you know when he's giving it to you, you, you really uh, pay attention, which I think is um, you know is good. Um, you know, he, he made uh, made the points that you know we're not going to waste your time. So when we are having a meeting, that to, to make sure you're paying paying attention and you're there early. Um, because uh, you know everything we're going to say is going to be important, and I think guys took that to heart. Yeah, I think uh, that was probably the biggest. It's just the authority he had. Um, you really, when he uh, started talking, you could feel the room. Everybody listened, and uh, you know I think that was uh, something that really, really hit. Go in the back. Uh, Oli, how does your game differ when you're playing first pairing with Latang versus when you're playing with Ben? Well, I'm I'm not trying to change my game. Uh, I'm trying to play it the same way. Um, obviously, it's a it's a big difference playing with uh, Tanger and playing with Bobby. There, Tanger's more offensive. Bobby, Bobby's more defensive first guy. Uh, but uh, for my game, I don't I don't really change. I try to play the same way. It, it really doesn't matter. We we do a good job communicating out there. So I think that's the biggest key for any change players. <laughs> Ian Thomas Hurdle's been one of the Sharks' more effective forwards. What have been the challenges of uh, slowing him down and going up against him? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that that whole line really works well together. I mean, you have, um, you know, Thornton, who's who's certainly more of a pass first guy, can, can dish the puck with the best guys in the league. Um, yeah, then obviously you have uh, Pavelski who you know, still skates very well but is more of a shoot first guy and finds that soft ice in the pocket really, really well. Um, and you got Hurdle who uh, seemingly does everything very well. So um, that whole line I think really works together uh, and you've seen that in the course of the playoffs with how successful they've been um, and how you know dominant they've been in a lot of situations. Um, but specifically Hurdle, I mean like I said, I think, he, I think he's good at everything. He's, he's a um, you know, he's maybe not the best in the league at one particular thing, but he's really, really good at everything. You know, he's got great speed, he's strong, he can take pucks to the net, uh, he's got an outside shot as well. So, um, you know, when you, when you have a guy that's that, that good at everything, you need to be you know, very aware of him when he's out there for sure. Left side. Oli, I was just curious, how was the uh, trip to Google and whose idea was it to, to <clears throat> check it out? Um, Steve Alexi, you uh, had some high school friend there, so. He, uh, he was able to take us there and show us around. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, I won't see the movie Internship, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much the only thing I knew about it. But it was, it was awesome to see. Get your, get your head off hockey for a bit, and uh, I think that was the main point. Stay on one side. Ian, how different, is it, um, how different is your night when you're playing on the road? Because you hear teams in the playoffs, they want to sort of attack a particular deep pair, attack the third deep pair, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if that's going to be the game plan for them, you know, we'll welcome that. Um, I think that we're very confident in all six of our defensemen, um, in their ability to, to play defense um, against any line, and their ability to, to transition the puck well and go on offense. So, um, you know, if that's what they want to do, that's fine. Um, obviously, the you know who you're playing against does make a difference. Every line plays differently. Every player plays differently. Um, so, I think having awareness. As far as who you're out, uh, as far as, as who you're out there with, and um, you know, knowing their tendencies, and um, you know, making sure that you're aware when you have a guy like Thomas Hurdle or, or Joe Thornton, um, and how they, um, you know, kind of attack certain plays, and, and how they, um, you know, what they try to do on the ice. You know, Thornton's not gonna, you know, burn you with speed, but he'll certainly try to draw you out towards him to put the puck through you to, to a guy that kind of slides in behind you. So, um, you know, I, I think that. Um, like I said, everyone plays it, plays their certain situations differently. So as a defenseman, uh, being very aware of that is, is crucial. Take a couple more, Chris, up front. Ian, when you're two wins from the Stanley Cup and you get two off days, how difficult is it not to start thinking about the big picture and how things <coughs> kind of living your dream? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and I, I've used this, this statement a lot, but I, I think everyone's aware of the situation. Um, I mean, to, to say that, you know, oh, we're not thinking about it, um, you know, is true to a certain extent, but I think you're aware, you understand what the, where you are in the, you know, the, the timeline of a seven game series and the situation as far as well, how many wins you have. Um, but I, I don't think that you can let that dictate how you play or can't let that dictate, um, you know, how you're going to approach the game. Because I, I think that once you, you know, take your foot off the gas, once you, once you kind of exhale, uh, and say, hey, you know, well, we have two, two games lead. Oh, we only got to win two more out of the next five. Like, oh, that'll be easy, no problem. Um, that's where you really get the problem. That's where you really get in trouble. Um, and I think that, um, you know, uh, continuing to, to play with the same uh, mindset and the same, um, I think, um, you know, uh, yeah, I just think that's uh, keep going the way we're. So.